Jay. Hi, you love. Hi, you love. You're busy. Oh, come in, Julia. Hi, you love. Hello, Julia. Oh, hi, you. Hello. Hello, Julia. I don't know you'd put in an appearance. And you are? Julia Brogan. This is Julia Brogan. It's just like being on the telly. Hi, Julia. Oh, God bless and save us. You nearly gave me a corona, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very pleased to meet you. Nice to see you too, Ron Dixon. Morning, all. Hiya. Oh, doesn't he look handsome in his uniform? <laughs> I went out with a fella from a morgue once. What, one of the corpses? <laughs> no, he worked there, soft lad. He filled the bodies with that embalsum fluid. Really? I'm not normally one to get involved in industrial espionage. Everton Mince, is it, Julia? Oh, have they come? Especially for you. There's millions of people would get the right legs to be in your shoes. Her mum's going to be having an operation on her hip next week, so she's living at hostel, she's back on her feet again. Oh, uh, one of them hip emplacements, is it? What's going on? Oh, yeah, that's all we need, the Manor Park mouth. What's the matter? You, you cheeky swine! Well, what's happened? Whining and dining me and whispering sweet somethings, and all the time you've only got one thing on your mind, haven't you? HRT, hormone reinforcements to you. You are. And you can stay in that spare room to a man and wife. I'm not having my reputation varnished by the likes of you. Oh, I was just going to nip down to Douglas's for some corn plasters, but I thought I'd drop in and see how you are. What's he saying about warts? You've got a filthy mind, Ron Dixon, and I'll thank you not to go around judging other people by your own standards. Yeah, well, thank you, Julia. I feel much better now. I'm sorry about that. All this Henry Fraser business, it's been hanging over us like the sword of Hercules, and I just can't rest until it's all sorted. I want to make sure he's got a square meal inside him before he dashes off to get changed and that. I mean, say, you can't expect a man in his position to make do with one of them pop doodle things, now, can you? I'll turn the bed back for you, lovey. Now you pop under that duvet and let Mrs Farnham see to you now. <sighs> Oh, hey, it's new Barbara's there. Your fellow off to Balti with a glamorous photo shoot. Julia, it's Barley, not Balti. Lindsay Corkill. She's not going to come to any harm there, is she? Eh? Well, he's Howard's way, isn't he? You are. You want to wash your mouth out, you. I know that lad. He's just like my own son. And there's nothing wrong with him. Yeah, well, it's not what I've heard. Well, you've heard wrong, haven't you? You owe me your pass. You're all the same. I'm going round to Mrs. Farnham's after I've finished at the salon, and I was just wondering if there's anything you'd like doing at the bungalow. Hiya, Dave. Just ringing to remind you it's me bingo tonight, so I won't be able to come round for tea. Only me again, Dave. I forgot to remind you to take the cheese and onion pie out of the freezer. ta -da. I'll sit with you, Ronnie. That's no bother to your life. I brought some evidence. You can get better dry in there. I brought you one of my homemade corned beef pies for the buffet. I'm not one for violence, but if you ask me, that Liberty giblet needs punching. I'm starving here. Ooh, I hope they've laid on a decent buffet. I tell you what, if you sort it out for me, I'll treat you to a chippy dinner. Well, thank you very much for telling me, Julia. Just doing my duty as a responsible citizen. Do you know something? If you'd been born 200 years ago, they'd have burnt you at the stake. Satisfied? You puffed up our windbag. Oh, bless us and save us. Do you know, I forget me, if it wasn't screwed on properly. Julia, I'd love to stop and chat with you, kid. But I've got work to do. Mind, I can't stand here being groped all day. I'm going to be late for my cleaning. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da